clinical side, we've seen, I think the most striking results are with low-grade serous ovarian cancer. So uh, in, if six patients had a RAS mutant uh, low-grade serous ovarian cancer, which four responded, or if you look at the whole population presented out of eight patients, it'll be four, so it's 67% or 50%. What is also very striking is actually a number of patients who responded that actually previously had a MEK inhibitor, which seems to suggest that you know, the, we can get around the mechanism of resistance. Uh, we've also uh, treated, presented uh, the details of uh, KRAS mutant, non-small cell lung cancer, which is also a huge population because uh, lung cancer is a large uh, cause of morbidity and mortality due to cancer in the world. And about a third of those patients have got RAS mutation. So we have seen a response uh, which we presented and we see one seen one response after that as well. Uh, some patients, I think three out of 10 got to a 24 week um, cutoff, which is approximately six months, which is I think very meaningful. And a majority got past the 12 week cut off, which other people take as a sign of uh, activity of the drug. So we are very excited. It's early days. Uh, the only way, obviously, you can go on to registration trial is larger numbers and possibly a randomized trial. Uh, we're looking at other exciting opportunities in colorectal cancer. We're also looking at opportunities in possibly the future of pancreatic cancer. Again, RAS mutant cancers, which have a huge area of unmet need.